Well, can you imagine purchasing a brand new vehicle and just months into having it, it unexpectedly comes to a screeching halt while driving. Now that's the scary ordeal Kendall Hyman faced. She said she was nearly rear ended when that happened. Kendall Hyman, like most new car owners, took a picture with her brand new 2021 Atlas Cross Sport Volkswagen. She got it in May 2021. We had certain specifications, including safety, and we needed an all-wheel drive vehicle, so um, it rose to the top of our list. Only eight months into owning it, she says the SUV started to act up while her son was in the vehicle with her. All of a sudden, my car windows started rolling down whole bunch of warning signals came up on my dashboard um, and it started automatically abruptly breaking. So at first I thought it was like a bizarre flu. It wouldn't be the last time Hyman's vehicle did that. This time we're kind of like heading into a roundabout um, and so it comes to a full stop um, and there's a, another SUV right behind us and it nearly rear ends us. After that incident, she called her dealership told them about the malfunctions and brought it in. After they had done their um, evaluation of the vehicle, um, they said it was a wire and harness defect. They were familiar with it. Hyman felt like this dangerous safety issue needed to be addressed. And I had hoped to share my narrative with some major news outlets, really with the hope of exposing the complete lack of integrity that BW is demonstrating around this issue. The Associated Press picked it up. Through its investigation, found more than 40 complaints were filed to the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration, or NHTSA, which caused VW to issue a recall. According to NHTSA, the recall is for its 2019 through 2023 Atlas and 20 through 23 Atlas Cross Sport SUVs. NHTSA says faulty wiring can impact airbags deploying too late and cause the SUV to break unexpectedly. VW owners will be notified of the recall by mail. However, there is no fix right now. As Hyman tries to move forward from this dangerous ordeal, her message to car owners. I learned through this that one thing that's incredibly important is making reports of any significant problem with the vehicle to NHTSA. Now, VW says it will reach out to vehicle owners when a fix is developed. Now, because of the AP article, Hyman believes it helped her to get her vehicle repaired quickly. She had it back for about a, a one week or so, and I asked her how she felt getting back on the road with that vehicle. She says she feels a bit unsettled, but she knows for sure she will never buy a VW vehicle again.